Hey everyone, it's Belinda. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create different types in your nested Revit families. So in my previous video, I showed you how to create a simple basic nested Revit family and how to use an instance parameter to make particular components of your family movable. In this video, we're gonna take it a step further and we're gonna use a visibility parameter to create different instances of your nested family. So this is where we left off last time. We had four exam rooms and all of them are populated with the same nested family. What we're gonna do now is in the top two rooms, we're gonna convert that patient chair into a patient bed or a stretcher. And the bottom right exam room, we're going to move that cart 120 to the perpendicular wall next to the sink. Right now it's located in front of the door and in front of the sink and it's not an ideal location. Let's go to our nested family. And the first thing I'm gonna do is create an instance of the stretcher and align it to the Y axis. While the stretch is still selected, in the properties panel, you can see a small rectangle next to visibility. And once you select that, you are able to create a visibility parameter. I'm going to create a new one and call it stretcher 62. And it's going to be a yes, no type parameter. And I do not want it to be an instance. I want it to be a type parameter so that all types of this family are the same. I'm gonna hit okay and then create another visibility parameter for the chair. I'm gonna call this chair 383. And again, make sure that it's a type parameter. Once this is done, I'm gonna to go to a family types and you can see that there are two new parameters added under other, a chair and a stretcher parameter. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a new type, a new family type. This one's gonna be exam room stretcher. In this version, I want just the stretcher to be visible and not the chair. I'm then gonna create another family type and call it exam room chair. In this version, just the chair will be visible and not the stretcher. Once I select this family and load it into the project and overwrite the existing version, I'm then gonna select the top instance of this family in the top right room. And in the drop down option on our properties panel, I'm gonna select exam room stretcher. I'm gonna do the same with the top left exam room as well as the bottom right exam room. So you can see that Three of our instances are now stretchers and just one is a chair. But they are all the same family. So if you make any change to this family, it will be reflected in all four instances. Next, I'm gonna go back to our family, move the lift a little bit because it's kind of awkwardly located right now. And I'm then gonna copy our cart 120 family over. So I'm gonna do what we did in our previous video and create two reference planes in the X and the Y direction. Align this new cart and lock it to these two reference planes. This allows me to control the position of this new cart in the X and the Y direction. I'm then gonna create two new dimension strings and give it two different names. These two dimension strings are going to be instance parameters. So you can modify the location of these cards in each room. What I'm then going to do is create an, two more visibility parameters for each of the cards. I'm going to label them cart 120-1 and cart 120-2. I'm gonna create a family type called exam room stretcher perpendicular. And in this family type, I want the stretcher to be visible and cart 120-2. I do not want the other cart to be visible. Once I load this in the family, you can see that the position of the lift has changed 
as well as the position of the cart. So in our exam room on the bottom right, I'm going to switch that family from exam room stretcher to exam room stretcher perpendicular. So doing that turns off the cart right by the door and creates a cart next to the sink. So in that simple way, we've created different types in your family. Now, another method to do this would be to just create a new Revit nested family with a cart on the perpendicular wall and not the parallel wall. But that would not be the most efficient way of working because you'd have two Revit families to keep up with. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for my third video on nested families where I show you how to create shared parameters and change the color of individual elements using these shared parameters. Until then, I'm Belinda. This is Automation and Building Construction. Thanks for watching.